Hey everyone, welcome to this video in which we'll be running our Ionic package, Ionic application and see how this looks like. So to do that, you just have to go to the directory in which you installed Ionic in the last video and write Ionic serve. Now, once you do that, you're going to see that your projects get started and you would be able to access it by default on localhost port 8100. So if I go to the browser on localhost port 8100, I see something like this. Now, this strictly does not look like an app. But of course, if you just, you know, convert it to an iPhone 10 or iPhone, you know, 6, 7, 8 preview, something like that, it, it suddenly starts behaving like an app. You see that this looks like an iPhone header. Now, if I change it to, for example, um, Galaxy S5, which is an Android refresh, you see that we have an Android header. So it's done by, by all by default by Ionic. We are not really doing anything just out of this out of the box template. So yeah, there's that. So what we can do is just go ahead and take a look on how this exactly is happening. So we see that in the browser, we are at the slash home page here, right? Which is this particular route, which renders this particular component. Now we're going to get into depth of that. Don't worry about that. But I'm just showing you how we can customize something. So I can say instead of blank, I can say hello world here, right? And if if I say blank, um, you know, just, I can just go ahead and hello world here as well, right? So if I go ahead and save this, and if I see in the terminal, you're going to see that it says me compiling, which means it's compiling the TypeScript code, converting into JavaScript, and informing the browser um, on the right. And once it does, you're going to see that you get hello world now. So you see that we have replaced our blank title with the hello world here. You can also replace this content. You just have to see how it is rendering the content. And by the looks of it, it looks like this is the component explore container, which is rendering the content. And I can just replace it with hello Ionic 5 and uh, probably something like this looks so awesome. Right? Go back and here we are. Hello Ionic 5. This looks so awesome. So yeah. That's, that's basically it. That's how you're going to start working with Ionic in a nutshell. That's our Hello World program. So that's all for this video. I'll see you then in the next one.